So this is a bit more of a deep dive this week on the feet and how I stitch around and also we're gonna look at echo quilting. But the first thing I wanna show you is choosing a foot. So your machine probably came with several feet, maybe you've bought more. And so the main thing is you wanna be able to see where you're sewing. And sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error. Today I'm gonna to use this plastic foot just for this first part and see how it works. So play with the feet that you have, test it out and see what you like. Okay, so I'm just pulling my threads to the top and what I'm going to do is reduce my stitch length. So take it from a two and a half right down to a 0.4 and then when I make those few stitches it actually holds everything in place so I don't feel like I have to bring the threads to the back and I'm just going to cut them off at the top and I think the stitches will stay put. And it's just a little bit faster and just makes the project move along a little more quickly. And now as I'm sewing I'm just keeping it very close to the edge I'm going around the whole shape and I'm just using the same color thread and I'm going to try not to break my thread which means that I will have to go back over seams that I've already sewn and that's okay it ends up looking just fine and if you're using a neutral color it blends in so it's great. The main thing really is that foot and being able to see what you're doing as you're moving around the shape. Yeah, so it turns out that I don't love that plastic foot. I'm gonna bring back the other foot. I wasn't really able to see as clearly as I wanted to, even though it's a plastic foot. So that's why it pays just to try out different feet and see which one you're gonna end up really liking and finding useful. Okay, so that's done. And I've gone all the way around, just staying very close to the edge. I lift my presser foot when I need to, and I turn the fabric on the needle. I've used those small stitches, so I'm just gonna clip the threads on the front and the back and trust that the stitches will stay in place. I think they will. And now I'm gonna repeat the whole process on the other side just lifting and lowering my foot, going back over stitches I've sewn, just to outline the whole applique shape. And I'm not gonna show this whole part because I did in the previous video, but you get the idea now. And after, I really wanna focus on the echo quilting. Okay, so that was movie magic, and now I'm finished doing that. And what I want to do now is I'm just going to end it here. Then I'm going to trim the threads. And then I'm actually going to apply the backing fabric before I do the echo quilting. Okay, so I've gone around my applique shapes and now I'm looking at my feet again because I'm going to do some echo quilting, which is just sewing around the shapes. And so here I have another plastic foot and it's got these great lines in the middle. So the edge is a quarter foot edge and then the line in the middle is one eighth of an inch. And because my applique pieces are very small, I wanna get very close to the edge to do the echo quilting. So this is my quarter inch piecing foot. And again, if I look at that inside of the toe part, that is one eighth of an inch. So I think I'm gonna use this foot because I'm very used to it. I use it a lot and let's see how it goes. Okay, so I have the edge of my foot on the outside 
of the applique. So I'm gonna end up with 1 8 of an inch stitching line all the way around the shape. And it requires a lot of lifting and turning. And if you can only do a couple stitches, then lift, then turn, that's kind of how it goes. It's a bit of a slow process. And it takes a minute just to make sure that you're going in the right uh, distance from the edge. So you're watching the edge of your foot. That's your guide for distance away from the application. And I'm speeding it up a bit here just because I think you have the general idea. And play with shapes. Cut some shapes out, fuse them down on fabric, and then practice echo quilting around those shapes. Different distances. This one is one eighth of an inch away from the shape, but if you have a bigger piece, maybe you want to get a quarter inch away. Okay, so that was fast. You can see my one eighth of an inch away from the shape, and now you can see it on the back because I put my backing fabric down. So you're only seeing the outline shape on the back of the fabric, and you can do it either way, but I like to do that just so there's a little quilting on the back. And there's so many ways to applique, and this is just one of the ways. Okay, so here we are on an extreme close-up, and I'm using just where I'm pointing that inside of my foot as a guide for one eighth of a distance from the edge of the applique. And you can see I'm going around. And this is just a practice shape, and I encourage you to do that, and it will make your sewing more accurate. And echo quilting is pretty cool because it makes the shape pop, and it's just a great skill. Basically, anything you do to practice sewing is gonna improve your skills, and it's just really fun. Okay, so here's my finished product. My applique shapes are fused and sewn down, and then I've done the echo quilting around the shapes, and it really makes the shapes pop. It looks super cute. And here's another one that I did, and you can see the echo quilting is a quarter inch away from the shapes, and to me it looks a little much, but you might like it. Experiment, have fun. I hope you love applique as much as I do. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and tune in again for another great sewing video.